A creative ideas journal is the perfect way to keep a record of your creative ideas and inspirations. I use these types of journals instead of a regular notebook to keep written notes and sketches as well as other types of ephemera that can be used to further develop my creative ideas. I think it's just a more fun and creative way to keep notes and sketches instead of using a plain notebook. You can use all sorts of different types of papers to make a journal and it's a perfect way to use up all the scrap paper that you have lying around. Because I'm using a reusable fabric cover for the journal, I don't need to make a special cover for the papers. So I simply sewed two pieces of printed cardstock together, which made a thick and stable cover. I gathered all my papers and assembled them into a booklet, then used large binder clips to hold everything in place while I sewed the pages together. Because this journal is quite bulky, I'm hand sewing the pages together using thick hand embroidery thread. To make it easy to sew all the pages, I used a book binding awl to punch five holes down the centre spine through all the pages. To sew the pages together, first cut a length of strong hand embroidery thread. The length of the thread will vary depending on the size of your journal. So as a rule of thumb, I cut a length of thread about three to four times the length of the journal pages. Start sewing on the inside and push the needle through the top hole to the outside. I'm going to add a metal charm to use as a bookmark so I've left a good length of thread tail along the inside. Bring the needle back to the inside through the second hole, then continue sewing down the length of the pages and then back up to the top. Once you've finished sewing, Tie off the thread in a tight knot. I've left a long thread tail and added a butterfly charm to the end so I can use it as a bookmark. To finish things, simply slip the journal covers into the slip pockets on the fabric journal cover. Once this journal is full, I can make another one and reuse the same cover. At the front of the journal, I have an envelope where I can put loose papers or personal things that I don't want others to see. I also keep a current calendar handy to keep track of dates. I include lots of different types of writing and sketch papers, or papers with interesting coloured backgrounds so I can write and sketch. I like to use different size papers to make the journal look more interesting. And here I've used a small paper scrap to make a tuck spot, or a place where I can tuck loose bits of paper. For these types of creative ideas journals, I like to use different types of paper to make the journal look interesting and creative. I use printable designs, scrapbook paper, and painted papers, as well as pages torn from magazines. Making these types of journals is always fun and interesting, and there's no right or wrong way to do it. I usually make them just large enough to last for a month or so, which gives me an excuse to make a new one every month. I find that making the journals is just as much fun as using them. 
I use paper clips to keep loose bits and pieces attached, like this fabric scrap. I like the colour and the pattern on the fabric scrap, so at some point I might use it as inspiration for a colour palette or even a new digital design. I keep lots of small journaling cards and paper notes handy for writing quick notes. Pages don't have to be made from just paper alone, and I often like to include fabric or sewn elements. While I was making this journal, I found a piece of lace, so I quickly stitched it to the edge of this page. I printed out the envelopes and journal cards from the Scrappy Garden printable journal kit, and I'll use these cards to keep notes.